Alright, this is Benelli Supernova review. Uh, here's the barrel. There's a high vis sight right there. Uh, there's a middle bead right there. Here's a slide. There's that. And then there's the trigger. And there's the comfort tech. Uh, I'll start from the butt. Uh, comes with a really nice gel pad here. Really nice. I don't know if you can see how it slides down. Uh, comes with the Comfort Tech right here. The uh, cone. Uh, nice grip. Fits your hand real nice. Uh, nice, or it has a big trigger, big safety. Uh, if you're hunting in cold weather and you need big gloves, real nice trigger. Uh, cannot put a scope on this unless you buy, like there's a steel plate that you can buy. You take these out, you take the pins out, you put the plate on here, it wraps around, and you put the pins in. Uh, the gun isn't unloaded, or is unloaded. Uh, the slide release is right here. You slide that back. The really nice thing I like about this gun, other than some shotguns where the mag stop or whatever they call it or the drop or the floor plate some of them pop up but I like where you can actually just keep it down and load shells instead of pushing it down when you press the lever in here to get the shell out which or the pump you just keep on pumping uh, you just let to get the lever to pop up you just slide that back so nobody thinks that their gun is broken. Uh, the mag shell stop, I'll show you what that is. Let's take the shell. Uh, just take the shell, put that in, safety is on, uh, you bring the stop down, or the slide down halfway, press that black button, you just heard a click, and then a shell does not load when you slide it forward, and then you can either press the button in here to stop it, or push it out that way, or you can bring it back, if it was a default, bring it back, put it in, close it. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then I will take this gun down real quick. Uh, you just take the cap right here. So I'll go out, outside and show you the what I like about this gun. See all that ring is in there? You just slide that out. I'll go outside real quick and show you. But I don't know if you can see that high vis sight. It's real nice. There's the barrel. Yeah. It's real nice. There's a metal bead right there. And then there's the high vis. Uh, yeah, it's real nice. It's nice for early morning when the sun's just coming up. Or right before dark. You can really tell. Now, this gun does come with a plug. Right there, you can see it. When it's 
three shelves to any gauge. If you take that out, you can fit three three and a half inch shelves, and then you can fit four three inch and two and three fourths, plus one in the chamber. So, uh, yeah. Um, comes with an proof cylinder, a full choke, they're all flush mounts, a full choke and a modified, and then I got a cylinder for, uh, slugs, you know, a st uh, Charleston's, they're both Charleston's, the cylinder and the other full, the full choke for steel duck, anything steel, and then I got this turkey choke. For turkeys, it's real nice for big open fields or if a logging road where they can see the turkey and maybe see you and they start running away, you can still shoot them running away. Uh, for turkey, I use the Hornady Heavy Magnum 3 inch, it's nickel plated shot, which is real nice so you don't get lead. It's still lead, except it's nickel plated, so it's nice and stays uniform. Uh, for ducks, like long range and all that, or out in a marsh or on the river where we hunt, uh, I use three and a half inch black cloud, two shot, one and a half ounce. But then sometimes you get ducks close or We'll go for woodies in the timber. We'll use the Federal Premium 3 shot, 3 inch. Uh, it does come with a shim kit right there. Um, it's real easy to clean. I got this floating case, so if it does fl fall in the water or go on somebody or the dog hits it overboard or drops it, it doesn't sink. Uh, it's real nice. I turkey hunted with it in the rain. Came back. Didn't have time to clean it. Drove down from up north. Cleaned it then. And there was no rust on it at all. Uh, yeah. It's real easy to change out the chokes. Comes with a bro or, uh, um, wrench. Comes with the... Uh, Spots to put your sling on if you're walking around. If you're a lefty, you have to put your. I'll try to show you. To be safe, uh, you have to put your hand like that and just click it when you see a pheasant or a grouse or whatever. Probably not for a grouse or uh, any woodland birds because you need to get on those real quick. Um. I like it. I know a lot of people like it. My uncle s told me to get the Benelli Super Black Eagle 2. And I said, well, I just want a gun so I don't have to keep on using people's guns. But I'm, a real, I'm real cautious with other people's guns. Like if somebody broke into the house and took the gun, I don't feel like having the responsibility for the gun. Or if something breaks, I don't feel like paying them for it. And, uh, so I just bought a pump. I'll probably, I'll keep this for the rest of my life. Probably for my kids to have and all that. And other friends to use. But I will probably get the Benelli Super Black Eagle. Because it's an excellent gun. I tried it in that. I don't like anything with ports. Because my uncle had a Beretta clog up. And the, they put ports here to drive the action back uh that clogged up because he never cleaned it of course but i don't want to have that risk and send it in and have him clean it out but yeah there are some scratches on here just from in and out of cars trucks trees uh it's real steady you bring it up and it's real nice uh yeah i think that's it all right, see ya.